Okay, so if you are just joining us, um, I'm Carrie, this is Brian, and we put out a new travel video every week, every Saturday. Uh, we've actually, we've been traveling now for eight, eight months. months. Yeah. yeah. And today we're going to do a packing video. This is something that has been so highly requested, and often I hear from a lot of different people on packing videos of why do you want to see this and everything. I get it because before we left, we were watching packing videos, we were watching luggage videos, we were watching whatever we could to um, find what can, what should we take, what we don't want to forget, and, and everything like that. We wanted to do it right the first time out, and we didn't. And we didn't. No. <laughs> so that's what this is for. We yeah. think we've done it right this time. Right. This is our second go around. We and just went home. We went we, home for yeah. two and a half weeks. We got new luggage. We repacked. Regrouped. We, downsized again from already downsizing um, and so here we are. So when we started traveling we researched the heck out of it and we figured okay we're gonna each do a checked bag we didn't know how we were honestly gonna come down much lower than that we had a checked bag we had a backpack uh, a carry-on backpack and then we had a under seat a personal bag mm -hmm. another backpack uh, after really honestly probably the first two months we were so over it yeah, we got rid of things on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, Goodwill, um, some things we just threw out that we didn't think was worth it. That were used, yeah. Were used. Um, and, and we did that twice mm -hmm. in the seven months, the first seven months we were out. So when we came home, uh, we really had to decide, is this something I'm gonna wear or use? And if not, we're getting rid of it. Yeah, so we actually made the decision prior to going home to switch over to carry-on luggage. We ordered it, it was being delivered, there wasn't any turning back for us. And coming home, we were very happy with the decision we had made because just to get our luggage home, we went on two different flights and on one flight we paid $70, $70 and on the other flight was $55. $50, yeah. yeah, and that was for each of us. Yeah. So that was just to get our luggage home. And so, um, and then coming back, we have pretty much have already paid for half yeah, of our we didn't luggage. Pay anything coming back <laughs> because you know we carried it on. Yeah. So, so we are now 100% carry on only, and we are going to show you what we've got in our bags. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with my luggage, probably because I pack more than Brian does. If you want to see yeah. the minimalist style of packing, wait till the end of the video, and you'll be able to see his. Um, one of the things we didn't mention is the luggage that we did decide to go with, which is the away bigger carry-on. They have two different kinds of carry-ons. Um, we went the bigger one, which does give you, I think it's about two more inches, um, and that makes a big difference when you're only taking yeah. a carry-on bag. So uh, anyways, so we'll go ahead and get started. One of the things that it has on um, in their luggage, which is really nice, is it has this compressible, I don't know, yeah. sleeve thing that goes down anyways. And so, <laughs> compressible sleeve thing. And when you close that up, then you can really cinch down and tighten it and it really helps make a difference in uh, what you can pack in there. So, all right, I probably pack more than, I've actually already learned I brought things that I didn't need to bring, but it's hard when you're in a colder area and you're coming too warm, because you just think you might need something. So, anyway, I've got here, I've got three pairs of shorts, and I have a pair of exercise shorts or beach shorts, whatever hmm. you want to call them. I forgot my exercise shorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have two pairs of like exercise pants or lounge pants at night. Even though we're in warm climates, the, I, the AC is on, and so we get chilly at night. So even though you think you may not need some warmer stuff, you are going to need some warmer stuff. I have a pair of jeans, which will probably never be worn on this, this stretch. Brian was smarter than I was in that aspect. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pair of linen pants. I have two sweatshirts. One probably would have done it, but I got one uh, right before we left that I really wanted to bring, so that came with us as well. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tank tops. <laughs> like I said, I have more than I probably need. Um, I have three just kind of dressier shirts. Not really dressy, but you know, something a little bit nicer. <laughs> you did. Uh, I have three t-shirts. And then I have four just kind of over shawl sweatery things. So, all right, that really kind of covers it for clothes as 
far as that goes. The other thing that I would say for clothing that is not in this bag, obviously what I have on, there was plenty of room to fit it in here. Then also what I wear on the plane, I have a just long sweater and then I have just kind of a jumpsuit, um, super comfortable for our really long travel days. So those are off to the side because those are what I'm wearing when I'm on the plane. All right, now over to the other side here. They also have this little sleeve here. So any paperwork that you have, I have some pictures of my grandkids and then a letter from my daughter, or a card from my daughter from Mother's Day. Okay, this side. We've got our koozies, gotta have a koozie. We've actually already put these to great use. That was a new purchase on our way home. Hat. <laughs> um, Ladies, this here, this is called the, I believe it's called like the makeup eraser. And also we're gonna have the links below for everything that we are putting in here that you may be interested in if you wanna go check it out. So this is called the makeup eraser. These are fantastic. You do not have to carry around with you any of the makeup remover and, and soap or anything like that. Super important for Brian. <laughs> he does not have one of these. Anyways, they just get washed and you reuse them over and over again. Fantastic. Been using the same one here for eight months, so they're great. I have, so my camera, which is being used right now, will go right in this little spot right here. And we have a lightweight, just little rain jacket that um, we probably, hopefully, don't really have hopefully to use. Right, but easy. yeah, yeah. We, we got new ones, or I got a new one that was just super light and easy to pack because it just is going to be back up. All right, got sunglasses, glasses. When my contacts come out, got my extra contacts. Uh, prescriptions. Any prescriptions that you're going to travel with, make sure that they're in the bottle that they came in and some people also recommend that if you do have the actual written prescription to put that in the bag with it. Mm -hmm. Certain countries are very particular on that and so you also want to check the countries and see what's allowed to be brought in. So some don't allow much of anything. Uh, in this bag here I have my tennis shoes. How many pairs of shoes you got? I've got five pairs of shoes. <laughs> Once again, more than right. Uh, brush, I have my sandals, and you gotta have flip-flops. You go to the beach, you need something that's waterproof. So, got that. I have one belt. I have, this we have actually used a lot, which is our just travel, they charge you for bags pretty much everywhere that you go. I kind of thought that was only a U.S. thing, and no, <laughs> you go everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, so just a really convenient, Easy, pack it up, it goes in a pocket or in your purse or whatever you're carrying along when you go to the grocery store. We wish we had two of those. Yeah, so. we do, yeah. So, got that. Uh, I also have this. This is a waterproof to put your phone in. So like if we go kayaking or, or near the water or whatever, and it's uh, handy to have and it goes flat in your bag, so easy to carry. Charger for my computer. And electronics. Have my electronic bag here. We'll just kind of show you a few of the things that are in here. One of the things that both of us have is a universal adapter. The this kit here, which like I said, we'll have the link down below. Um, this kit here comes with adapters. I can't remember how many countries because you can buy multiple different varieties of for how many you want to have. We got the largest one, the largest kit that had for everywhere. So. Our first time out the gate, we really didn't know we had different plans of where we were going to be going, so we carried every one of the adapters yeah. with us. This time around, we, we <laughs> knew the general area we were going to be, so that's the only adapters that got into my bag. So these are fantastic. Two plug-ins, two USB, and then the back part, you just pop the little thing out there, and that's the only piece that you're changing for whatever country you're in. So really convenient. Beach bag, which... <laughs> We've already put to use every day that we've been here. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> so that's an important one. Um, oh, back to my electronics. The other thing in here that I wanted to show you that is to me a must have. So I carry a mouse with me for editing. It just makes life easier. Um, I also, we carry a fire stick with us. So this to me has been something, we actually bought an extra one on our way back because um, we were carrying with carrying two with us and one of them did break so or just stopped working so we now have a backup 
um, and just necessary because if you want to watch anything, you need to have your fire stick. We've gone to some places that have no English TV and, and nothing to watch. So We also got an extension piece on our <clears throat> Netflix because we got to one location we couldn't plug it in the back of the TV. Yeah. So we got the little extension. Yeah, the extension for fire stick. Mm. We, um, we, <clears throat> we have been to a few places where we had to go the entire month without anything because, yeah. yeah. So uh, that was probably one reason why we updated that as well or upgraded. All right, and then my little hair straightener. This is just a travel hair straightener. As you can tell, I have super thin and, and light hair, so it's easy for me, but this is great. This one here is a uh, Kristen S. So I'll see if I can find the link. I'll put that down below. Works great and really tiny. Okay, so that is for my luggage here. And then I have another bag that I carry with me. And this one I just got as well. This is by Bees. And I absolutely love this. I was actually really worried when I got this um, and, it, and I took it out of the bag and wondering if it was gonna fit in underneath the seat as my personal item because it's good size and it's pretty bulky. It fit no problem. We went on four flights and we were on a discount airline, but no problem. So that was great. Show you what it fits in here. First thing with this one that's really cool is the bottom part of it comes off. And so you have another compartment down below. So you have this little piece here, and then you can put whatever you want in there. It's really kind of made for shoes and such, so once again, I have another pair of shoes down there. <laughs> it's five, five pairs in total. So down here, I just have my uh, swimsuits, bra, I have another pair of sandals, like I said, my microphone for my, um, my camera, and then just all of your personal items, underwear, all that kind of stuff. So have that in there. And then in here, this bag is fantastic. It opens up kind of like a medical bag, so you can just see right down in size, which was so nice. Um, water bottle, we used to carry, we each carried like a big water bottle with us, and we just found we honestly didn't use them enough for especially the amount of space they were using. But I did pick up this one when I was home, and I have absolutely loved this. Um, one of the cool things was, and this was Brian's suggestion, was I never would order coffee on the airplane because I was always so afraid it was going to spill with any level of turbul turbulence. And so I was able to just kind of pour it into this smaller container. But this works to keep it cold, works to keep things hot. So this was a good purchase. Got my makeup bag. Um, I keep my makeup incredibly simple. So I do not carry much of anything. Um, I have blush, I have mascara, I have eyeliner. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Another fantastic purchase we made not that long ago, we wish we had found these a lot earlier, was <laughs> these $3, not even, like $2.80. $2.80 US. Slippers. Yeah. <laughs> and we honestly got them and we thought, oh, we'll just throw them away when we are done at, on that stretch of our trip. We'll just throw them away if we need to. We bought them at the grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> it was a really cool find. Um, and they have actually ended up being so great. We are still wearing them all the time. Um, but where we absolutely loved them was, was on our long haul flights, we just would sit down in our seat and we would take off our shoes. I'd put my shoes in this bag here and then just put my slippers on. It just makes for a so much more comfortable flight. So those were a great pur purchase and super inexpensive. Um, in here is also all my liquids. And if you are still carrying your liquids in like a quart size little bag, you need to switch over to these. These are TSA bags, and as you can see, a lot fits into these bags. I have all of my face creams and anything that I'm gonna need that I can't find on the road here. So all of that in there. I also have just a bag. This here, I just put everything that I'm gonna need in the airplane. I want it accessible. It's got my battery charger. It's got headphones. It's got um, some Benadryl to sleep really well on the plane. Uh, it's got an eye mask, things like that. Anything that you want really accessible, I just put in one bag so it's easy to get to. Uh, just my jewelry bag. And then I have a backpack purse that I carry around with me when we are at location. So that's just at the bottom of that bag there. <laughs> 
<laughs> All these things that Brian doesn't have to put into his bag. No wonder his luggage is so much lighter than mine. <laughs> he could get a man purse. Uh, and then I've got my laptop that fits into a nice little compartment here. So that is my packing. And you that, that's for six months. This is for six months. Won't need anything yeah. else. Won't need anything else. Probably. And you know, honestly, we have also learned anything that you need. So we used to carry, or I used to carry, like some shampoo and conditioner and things like that. Buy it where you get when you get to where you're at. You'll find it, it. Yeah, you'll yeah. find it. Every place has shampoo and conditioner. They have the nicer, expensive stuff, and they've got the other stuff. So you'll be able to find anything that you need. All right, now we're going to move on to Brian's unpacking. The last of his... <laughs> quarter of the video. <laughs> his Nine. unpacking won't take much time at all. It's obviously a lot easier for us than it is for the ladies, but we do have our needs. So, obviously the same bag. I have got about eight pairs of underwear, and that's the most of any one item I have. <laughs> so those are real easy. Now, I get the dry fit underwears. Dry fit pretty much everything. So when we wash our clothes, there's no dryers over here. So when you hang your stuff up, they dry the next day. And if you're not changing your underwear every day, you should be. So just a tip there. Now, I've got two pairs of shorts, these and these, and that's it. And again, they're dry fit shorts, so they, they dry really fast. Yeah, especially where we are now. They're drying yeah. in like an hour. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, these pants are the only pant that I brought. These are usually what I wear on the plane or a bus or any travel day. They're lightweight, they're super comfortable. Um, so these probably will all wear on a, on a plane so they won't go in the bag, but these will. But they're about the same size, so you get the idea. Now, I also have the comfy... Ooh, another pair of pants. <laughs> these are like pajamas. <laughs> I wouldn't wear these outside. But again, with the air conditioning, um, these are really nice to have. And it goes along with my, my one long sleeve shirt for the same reason. I might wear it in the evening time on the patio. Um, we'll see. Um, and then uh, five shirts, including this one. It's five, that's it. One, two, three, four, oh, there's five. <laughs> four pairs of socks. Usually you don't have to wear socks, but just in case. Um, two swim trunks. Uh, for the same reason, if one's drying, uh, you can wear the other one. Now these are these are made by Chubby. These are my pink alligator. Crocodile. Either yeah, alligators yeah. or crocodiles. <laughs> I can't really remember which ones. And then my uh, my blue with the pink flamingos. Kind of cool. So that, that's my clothes. That's it. Yeah, he's a light pack. Yeah. But what else do you need, honestly? Pretty light when you're in warm climate. When you're warm climate, sure. it makes yeah, it now, I did bring, uh, you know, it's a North Face rain jacket um, just in case. Now, this thing holds down to nothing, so it's not like it even takes up any room, so why not? I did leave another one at home. It just uh, it didn't pack as easy, and why go out in the rain anyway? Okay, my koozie, it's over there. <laughs> Cable cord for my computer that I like to keep in this bag because I don't like to weigh this one down because I'm carrying it. My camera is packed because we're not using it, we're using that one. Extra sunglasses just in case you break or lose a pair, which I think I've done. Yeah. So it's inevitable. Now I got this bag, this is for all my dry sundry items, my deodorants, my razors, uh, chapstick, stuff like that. It goes in this little bag. I have this black bag that I wanted to bring. I didn't really know what we'd use it for, but I thought it'd come in handy. And I just put one of my pairs of shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you have? I, this is one of three. This is one of two, actually. I'll get to it. <laughs> so these are uh, a pair of shoes here. I got flip-flops. Now, Perry says you need flip-flops to go to the beach. If I have to walk any more than 100 yards, to go anywhere, I'm wearing these. Uh, I don't like flip flops. Every once in a while they'll come in handy, so I brought them. And then uh, 
I've got my, uh, my camera gear, extra lens, my microphone, uh, battery packs, things like that, and that's about it. In my little zipper here, I've got um, just my prescription, which is my inhaler, um, some credit cards, and that's about it. So that is my, my big bag, my under the seat carry-on bag, which is an Osprey uh, Daily, Daylight Plus. Love this bag. Wear it all the time. You've probably seen it in almost every it's, video. Yeah, and it is held up fantastic. It's doing. Yeah. So what I like to do is first pocket. This is coming out of security. Now when you go through TSA, everybody kind of gets nervous. It's kind of nerve wracking. You're trying to hurry. I like this to be right here, so I can just pull it out. We're going to ask you to put it in the tray. It's right there. It's easy. It's simple. The shoes I'll have on my feet, but. When I get on the plane, I got the same exact pair of slippers Carrie has. Matching. And it's, they're matching. You know, you know, you might think it's funny, but when you're on a plane, you need to get to the bathroom. You got to put your shoes on. It's usually a good idea. And anybody who's going to get grossed out because we're wearing slippers into the bathroom on the airplane, which can get a little funky after an 11-hour flight. Yeah. These are washable. Wash and dry. You can wash these? <laughs> he may have not washed his yet. I've washed mine a few times. <laughs> and then I do have... For planes, buses, trains, Anywhere anything you might get cold, <laughs> I do have my Stemma sweatshirt that I got back home just in case. Um, that's the warmest I'll get. Yeah. And if I need anything, I can just buy it. Or, you lay, or we layer. Or we layer. You know, you put right. your little rain jacket over the top of a sweatshirt and you're plenty warm. Yeah. yeah and then I got my computer in here. It goes in its little sleeve. And there you have it. My wallet goes right here, yeah. just in case I need that. And we always have plenty of room because one of the things we always take when we're going to go on a, on a flight is we go and we get some snacks. Oh. You got to have some yeah. snacks on the flight. So yeah, you have to have room for that. Yeah. The other thing that I was going to say that I carry, I've carried this since the beginning. Of, I don't even remember how long I've had this little purse. It's probably not my most favorite looking little purse, but I'll tell you, being in the airport, it just has the accessibility to have my, we have our passports here. Brian laughs at my plastic bag. I want to buy bag. a nice plastic now, passport bag. I love the little plastic bag because when I am just feeling nervous, I want to make sure that we have all of our documents. I can just open this up and this is see through and I can see it right here and it fits in here, no problem. When it gets beat up, you just change it out. But, anyways, it's a big enough bag. It fits my phone, it fits that, it fits money, credit cards, anything like that. And they never ask you, they don't count this as an extra item that you're carrying in, right. so you can have this around your waist. So, and this is just a bagalini, so simple bag, you can find it anywhere. So, that's kind of it. That's kind of what we're doing, and, yeah. and we think this is going to work. I, I'm sure it's going to work for me. Um, I'm simplest, I don't need a lot, I don't need shoes and dress up clothes or anything like that. Um, so, I think I'm going to be great. Yeah. Um, I think so too. Yeah. I, you know, it was it was so nice when we arrived at our, our first location after packing like this, and we unpacked, and it just felt like whatever you were putting in the closet was items yeah. for the most part you were going to wear. Well, we had to repack just to shoot this video, <laughs> and literally it took it took me less than ten minutes. Yeah. Where it used to be. You know, you had to go through everything and... Yeah. and we would just... spend like two to three hours, well I would, two to three hours trying to organize our yeah. bags before because they were heavy, they were packed full, yeah. it was just, it was not an enjoyable experience and honestly, getting through the airports and doing everything that we needed to do, our travel days were so tiring. Even if yeah. they were a short, easy travel day, they were tiring. We were lugging backpacks on our back, we were carrying one in the front, we had our big bags were hauling around and upstairs. After this travel day, carrying the, the way that we did, and we did, it was 32, 34 hours total. After this total. travel day, we were still exhausted. <laughs> we, we, were, <laughs> we were exhausted from time alone, <laughs> but we weren't tired physically yeah, from fun. carrying a bunch of gear. So. You know, I just, I would just say everybody I think kind of has to get out there and do it their way and they're going to learn along the, on the way what works for them. Right. But I've heard more often than not, less is more. So Even if you're taking a train or a bus, these smaller bags, 
are a lot more convenient it's easy. than like a taxi. We hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, definitely ask them in the comments below. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell so that you see when we're when we're putting out a new video. Right now we're in Portugal. Um, we have a lot of things we planned. We have a lot more to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've only put out we put out two videos so far, mm -hmm. and we've got six, seven more to go. Yeah, so in Portugal. In yeah. Portugal. That yeah. in the Algarve. All right. Cheers. Cheers.